Hi, I'm Diana Twiss. Welcome to this week's RUSD Quick Tip. This quick tip will introduce social emotional learning and share why it's so important. What is social emotional learning? Social emotional learning, or SEL, is the process through which all young people and adults acquire and apply the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to develop healthy identities, manage emotions, and achieve personal and collective goals. SEL also includes learning to feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain supportive relationships, and make responsible and caring decisions. SEL is an integral part of education and human development and occurs daily. SEL advances educational equity and excellence through authentic school, family, community partnerships to establish learning environments and experiences that feature trusting and collaborative relationships, rigorous and meaningful curriculum and instruction, and ongoing evaluation. SEL can help address various forms of inequity and empower young people and adults to co-create thriving schools and contribute to safe, healthy, and just communities. Research indicates many student benefits of SEL, which include decline in students' anxiety, behavior problems, and substance abuse, long-term improvements in students' social and emotional skills, attitudes, behavior, relationships, academic performance, and perceptions of classroom and school climate. SEL also benefits teachers. Research shows that those with strong social and emotional competencies are more likely to stay in the classroom longer because they partner effectively with students and learn strategies to address challenging behaviors. What's cool is that social emotional skills are something we can develop through practice. SEL helps prepare students for the future by helping them to build strong social and emotional skills and attitudes. In fact, 92% of companies now look for problem solving and communication skills more so than technical skills. Teachers value SEL and cite positive effects including workforce readiness, life success, attendance and graduation, college preparation, and academic success. The Castle 5 can be taught and applied at various developmental stages from childhood to adulthood and across diverse cultural contexts. Many school districts have used the Castle 5 to establish preschool to high school learning standards and competencies that articulate what students should know and do for academic success, school civic engagement, health and wellness, and fulfilling careers. We will focus on the five broad and interrelated areas of competence. Self-awareness is the ability to understand one's emotions, thoughts, and values, and how to influence behavior across contexts. Self-awareness includes capacities to recognize one's strengths and limitations with a well-grounded sense of confidence and purpose. Self-management is the ability to manage one's emotions, thoughts, and behaviors effectively in different situations and to achieve goals and aspirations. Self-management can include delaying gratification, managing stress, and feeling motivation and agency to accomplish personal and collective goals. Social awareness is the ability to understand and empathize with others, including those from diverse backgrounds, cultures, and contexts. Social awareness includes the capacities to feel compassion for others, understand broader historical and social norms for behavior in different settings, and recognize family, school, and community resources and support. Relationship skills include the ability to establish and maintain healthy and supportive relationships and to effectively navigate settings with diverse individuals and groups. Relationship skills include the capacities to communicate clearly, listen actively, cooperate, work collaboratively, to problem solve and negotiate conflict constructively, navigate settings with differing social and cultural demands and opportunities, provide leadership, and seek or offer help when needed. Last is responsible decision making, which is the ability to make caring and constructive choices about personal behavior and social interactions across diverse situations. Responsible decision making includes the capacity to consider ethical standards and safety concerns and to evaluate the benefits and consequences of various actions for personal, social, and collective well-being. SEL is an integral part of all tiers of the MTSS framework and is applicable across all settings. 
Resources for SEL and RUSD include Positive Greetings at the Door, Restorative Practices like Community Circles, Trauma-Informed Practices, Morning Meetings, and Activities from the SEL Playbook. We hope this brief introduction to SEL was helpful, and we look forward to supporting you as you implement SEL resources in your classroom.